Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. So, last four runs, if you haven't seen them, have been pretty exciting. We beat the game with Isaac, Maggie, Kane, and Judas. Not in that order. In fact, I think in the reverse order, actually. And now we only have Eve and Blue Baby left. And my goal, of course I've beaten the game with Eve and Blue Baby before, my goal is to beat the game with all of them sequentially. I mean, it's not a goal that I'm probably going to stick to if one of these runs fails. But it is uh, kind of an interesting twist that has just come about in The Binding of Isaac. So I'm going to play as Eve this time. I might regret it, because Eve is, even more so than Blue Baby, I believe my least favorite character in the game. Simply as a result of the fact that she has absolute garbage base damage. But we can get that checked out, we can get it figured out as quickly as possible. Or sorted out, I guess I should say. That's the out I was looking for. Um, by picking up an early deal with the devil, or maybe just getting lucky and getting like a, a pentagram and a, a Steve or something. Other damage upgrades. Got a nickel right off the bat. It's also pretty shitty how Eve... Wow. Ten cents already. How Eve starts with uh, no bombs, keys, or money. But I think that I have a sneaking suspicion that might be because Edmund McMillan thinks that Eve is unbalanced because she's too good. Like, if you saw the co-commentary that we did, I asked him who his favorite character was. He said Eve, and I was basically like, you're fucking crazy! Because <laughs> uh, I think Eve is such a garbage character. But you know, people in the comments definitely, uh, there are two sides. Some people agreed with him, and some people agreed with me. Which is fine. I mean, it's great that there's a game where, you know, people have different preferences like that, and there's no one character who is quite clearly better than the others. <laughs> Judas! Uh, sadly, still no bombs, so I can't access this treasure chest. That's the problem with it, with not starting with bombs or keys, is in the very, very early game, uh, you can't really get started. Like, you need money to get money. You need bombs to open these chests and stuff, but hey, we got keys and stuff. That's something. Let's take out everything here. Thankfully packaged in a nice little... Oh, that's stupid. In a nice little poopy container. So I can shoot them easily. Tons of keys, no bombs yet. Lard, oh man. Increased health, but decreased speed. Fuck it, let's give it a try. Uh, I am slow as molasses now. But, uh, I guess I have a little bit more tolerance for, for taking hits. Which is good, because uh, apparently in all the runs that I've recorded today, I am basically terrible. I guess I've only recorded once today, and that was that, uh, that Isaac run. But I did a pretty- come on, give me one bomb! I did a pretty goddamn terrible job of uh, not taking damage. Now I will just hope that we get a damage upgrade. That's a nice heart right there, actually. Uh, get a damage upgrade from this boss. Or some kind of, like, bomb upgrade, which would be nice to get me kind of kickstarted in that general direction. Instead, we're going to get a cube of meat, which is probably uh, the thing that we need the least. I think I actually knocked uh, the grandfather fly out of harm's way. This is fine. We got dead bird. Dead bird's chilling. Uh, it would be nice if it could, you know, use its powers for good to do some damage to famine here. There we go. You figured it out. I knew you could do it, Dead Bird. And in a hundred years, Dead Bird will finally whittle down Famine and will be in a much better position. Jesus Christ, only halfway dead. This is what I mean, man. Eve. So frustrating to play as. Almost took some damage there. I'm just going to focus on taking out that. Oh my god. See, I'm so slow now because of the lard, too, that I can't even dodge properly. But we still succeeded, we got some health back. What do we have? Speed up would actually be okay in this situation. Dead bird, I'd thank you. Alright, oh, cue of meat. <laughs> of course. I forgot that that was all we could get from that situation. That's okay. Tons of keys, so we can definitely visit the, uh... The, uh... Item room and the shop on this floor if I get another nickel or another 15 cents scattered around in various pennies. That's fine by me. Certainly, uh, like, it's not busted yet. Like, our Eve run is not off the rails. 360 No Scope Train Simulator 2012. Lemon Mishap is not gonna make things that much easier for us, though. That is a pretty, uh, pretty dog shit item. But, I don't know, maybe it's gonna do a ton of damage to Gluttony? Not really, huh? Lots of hearts there that I can't even use. Uh, I guess the good thing is that we can use this on once every two rooms, but... You know, otherwise, still, Lemon Mishap is pretty much maybe my least favorite item in the game. I don't know, I say that about the bean, I say that about poop, but I, I really mean it about all of them. Uh, Mom's bra and pad are also pretty awful. But, 
You know, we'll, we'll, make our, we'll make do with what we got here. We finally got a bomb, which is a step in the right direction, I suppose. Lemon Mishap totally going to waste here. Um, human Popcorn instinctively knew not to step in the puddle of urine, which, you know, went against what I thought was going to happen there. Shoot this poop. Two, open these guys up. Is one of these guys troll bomby? I would like you to blow up in, in a troll bomb to make my life easier here. Or blow up in a hail of nickels so I could buy something good from the shop. Alright, so it looks like there is a slight cosmetic difference between the troll bomb human popcorn and the uh, fly human popcorn. Might be good for me to actually take a look at that. So I can shoot the troll bomb ones first. Thereby uh, probably exploding and killing the grandfather flies ones. You learn something new every day. Well, maybe not every day. But maybe once every seven or eight videos you learn something new. We've been at this for a while. Uh, it has taken me about, about two and a half decades here to kill all of the headless dudes that we're coming across. Uh, especially since they apparently choose not to walk into the center of the map, which means I actually have to get down and dirty here in order to hit them. Good lord, this could take a oh, long time. Long time. It's been such a long time. You guys play Rock Band? I heard that game was sort of popular or something a few years ago. I don't know. I only play indie games. So, let's take out these grandfather flies. Um, I'll set my alarm clock. You guys can wake me up when this room is done. Uh, don't leave me hanging on like a yo-yo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, you know what? I'm going to plant a bomb because I'm going to go to that chest anyway. It's going to make things a little bit easier for me. But still, this is kind of hilarious in the futility of my normal shots. There's another bomb and a lot of money, which is great because now I can finally go to the shop and with 15 cents potentially pick up an item that is going to make my life easier. Because right now it's actually kind of difficult. I mean, not in a... Not in a real life sense, in a video game sense, but still, you catch my drift. Compass, that's good. It's good enough to pick up. It's not the, the damage that I wanted, but it's going to help me out a lot. Telling me where the item room is, where the shop is, and particularly if we make it to the womb, where the boss is, which is obviously the most important out of all of those. So, we'll make our way towards the boss here. Uh, we could get a deal with the devil here, which would be awesome. Ideal circumstance, take no damage for the rest of the floor. Uh, deal with the devil. Let's use lemon mishap here. Yeah, it took out one headless dude. The efficacy on this is believable, unbelievable. Um... Yeah, don't take any more damage, get a health up from the boss, deal with the devil, brimstone or mom's knife, mom's knife for the fifth consecutive video, uh, and then just start tearing ass, basically, and, and taking names, but I'm all out of pens that you use to take names with. So smooth. All right. Oh god, immolated leapers, or immolated hoppers. Yep, uh, I was pretty confident I was going to take some damage there. Didn't think I would take that much, maybe. Like, this is indicative of my problem with Eve, which is normally, Immolated Hopper's not a problem, really. You just, you know, give them a couple smacks, and they're done. Unfortunately, I don't have that luxury here. I'm gonna go all the way back, pick up my heart that I left in this room. San Francisco, because I left my heart in San Francisco. And in there, is it a half heart? Nah, it was both. We'll leave that there, just in case we need it. I mean, hopefully we don't, but... Mostly, I, I hope that we don't, because I don't want to do any goddamn backtracking. Now, we do have Lemon Mishap for this boss fight. Assuming it's like a single target boss, i.e. like not a fistula. This could be useful, I guess, if I get close enough. Monstro has, you know, the ability to jump, which means it might make it difficult for me to hit him with Lemon Mishap. Oh, he, fan he jumped right on! What an idiot! <laughs> well, that did like 10% of his HP. And for the meantime, I will just leave my ring finger depressing the right key here. Occasionally rotating to the left or up. And in 20 or 30 minutes, we should uh, be finished with Monstro. Which would be awesome. And hopefully, again, I won't take any more damage. Deal with the Devil Room? I'd say it's still possible. Although I did take a little bit of stupid damage on this floor. It's not like you have to have a perfect run on the floor to get to deal with the Devil Room. So I should be okay. Uh, and then just a Brimstone Mom's Knife, man. That's all I need. Brimstone, even with the, the shitty items that I have so far, Brimstone is all I need to push me over the top. And it might not happen on this first deal with the Devil Room. But it might. 
Mom's knife, probably also viable, although I'm quite slow. Well, the bandage is even better. That's way more health up than I expected. And we get the shovel and the cold for poison damage. Both garbage. I'm going to save my hearts because Lord knows I will probably need them. All right, so let's make our way over to where I believe the item room to be. Could really use a map because things are pretty confusing right now. Oh, this is shitty. This is why I mean Eve is so garbage, man. Like, I can't, there are going to be rooms like this where I can't avoid taking damage simply because, uh, like, I guess the room layout combined with the fact that her shots do so fucking little damage. Like, I guess, uh, I guess Dead Bird is okay, but I prefer not to take damage to have to deal damage. We also have Horror of Babylon, of course, but, I mean, I, I need to get the, the right circumstances in order for that to be viable. You know what? Fuck it. Lemon mishap. What a great item. <laughs> oh my god. Will one of these guys finally... There we go. Making our way to the item room. Again, most characters. One uh, crack at that turret would have been down for Eve. Just keep going here. There you go. It only took three. Feels good, man. Drop some lemon mishap. That's at least going to be able to take out these flies, I guess. More or less. And a pill, which hopefully is damage up, even though I don't think pills can be damage up. Hey, bombs are key. That's not really good or bad right now. Oh, we have the razor, which is better than lemon mishap. The reason being that the razor... We, it allows us to get extra damage and do that damage, obviously, to... Uh, we, we do damage to ourselves, but as a result, we also get better damage. So Eve, number one priority is to get better damage, but the, the Razor is particularly good on Eve because we also uh, get the dead bird when we use when we damage ourselves. So it, it's a nice ability, I suppose. I still don't like the Razor, as I just said. I prefer not to have to damage myself in order to do damage to others. But beggars can't be choosers, and it's nice to have an item that actually does compensate for my number one failing right now and that being said I would still love to pick up a brimstone at some point or even just like a couple packed like a, a packed and a deal or a packed and a, a pentagram or something I just need damage I don't even need the other stats I can make it work I don't need something OP ie brimstone I just need something something P you know the P stands for powered I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Probably not. Oh well. So we'll just keep doing some circle strafing here. These flies are particularly dangerous because normal red flies still take two hits for me to kill, which is nonsense. But hopefully we'll be okay now. So like each one of these fucking double flies is like a mini boss for Eve. That's okay, we'll make our way through here. I feel like I'm recording a poison mushroom. I got the voice of a poison mushroom right now. Probably not going to be able to go to the bee shop here. That's alright. You know. I don't have any, uh, enough money to make it worthwhile anyway. Might as well save my keys, which I don't have all that many of. Doing okay for keys and bombs now, finally, though. Go, got one cent. Still not enough. See what we got here. Oh, okay, that's cool. It's actually pretty good because we'll get our second cube of meat. So we'll have a little bit of extra firepower. And the potential to get a lot of extra firepower, of course. Uh, I am going to use the Razor here. Let me do some extra damage, and now the dead bird is out. Speed things up a little bit. And of course, the other thing is, if I somehow pick up like a Book of Revelations or something, I'll then be able to use the Razor to get myself down uh, to just Spirit Hearts. Which will be awesome for me, because then I can basically choose when to use the Horror of Babylon. And I'll also have even greater damage, because the Razor boosts your damage, of course. Uh, you should probably go to the hospital, though, Eve. I think you might have, like, some kind of blood pressure disorder. There's a little bit of extra health for us. Cube of meat as well. And it's done. And on to the next one. So we'll go over to the right to try to find the item room. But hopefully our saving grace is in there. Although I would be pretty fucking surprised. And now we're just gonna keep doing what we're doing. You know, it hasn't been bad so far. I mean, it's been bad from a damage standpoint. But it's been okay from a gameplay standpoint, which is, you know, oftentimes, for me, the, the hardest part. I, I say this a lot in The Binding of Isaac, that it's a, somewhat luck-based, like, you, you... Luck is the only thing that determines whether or not you get good items in most circumstances. 
but uh, you can still beat the game without getting lucky. It's just way more difficult. And I guess that's what we're going to try to do here. Item is Brother Bobby. Again, that's a pretty solid pickup because that's going to allow us to have a little bit more firepower when we're shooting here. So now we've got kind of like the opposite of one of my normal runs. Definitely I'm going to use a bomb to get a key and uh, a little health here. Um, a normal run, I try to make myself as overpowered as possible. On this run, I guess I'm just going to try to get as many friends along for the ride as I can and, you know, kill them that way. As opposed to the normal way. Well, I'm not going to give any money to Judgment right now because I could potentially go to the shop soon. And usually, the shop's better because you can choose what item you get. For example, Judgment can be kind of a dick sometimes. Give you the Bible every single time. Or just take all your money and give you nothing, whereas the shop... You know, the only time it does that is when greed's in the house. This guy could take a hundred years. As long as I actually make good use of my shots. I kind of knew I was going to take damage there. There we go. Finally took him out, got some extra bombs. Sorry, dead bird. You didn't really get a chance to do anything. Which I guess isn't so bad, because you haven't done anything all game anyway. I think that... AI on dead bird needs a needs a crank or it needs like an increased range or something because if you're not close to the enemy it just kind of hangs out there. All right, so there is a mini boss. I wonder who that's going to be. Usually mini bosses are worth dealing with, but sometimes you, you just have garbage ones that don't really provide you with uh, useful items. But I mean, it's probably worth just taking a gander. Oh, oh god! Well, there goes my spirit hearts. Uh, probably worth taking a gander at it anyway. Lust maybe. Ah, pride, that's fine. That's better than Lust, because I'm probably too slow to get away from Lust easily. Right now. Let's back the fuck up here. Pride's gonna give us something good, please. Damage, damage, damage. Tarot card, Wheel of Fortune. Not very good at all. That is a slot machine, and I don't have the kind of money to warrant gambling. 17 minutes, and we are only at the caves part two. This is gonna be a long fucking run. The last Isaac run was pretty long, too. Please, don't hurt me. There we go. One last turret. And I'm hoping that we'll be able to go to the shop. Yeah, that pill's probably worth taking, just in case. Lord knows I, have n I want nothing to do with this Wheel of Fortune card. So let's check out what this does. Bad gas. Pretty common pill, it seems like. Single zombie. It's going to take me 25 years to take him out. Come the fuck on. Oh, Jesus Christ, zombie. Work with me here. One more room and then the boss. Uh, I guess yeah, probably a similar situation. We're going to end up using Razor. My hope is that it's been programmed into the game. That, you know, using the Razor doesn't actually count as damaging yourself. Because I still really need that deal with the devil. For anything, really. Almost anything, at least. But, well, I guess we'll see what we get here. The Fallen. Well, that's going to do it. Uh, that's going to be a deal with the devil possibility. And this is kind of, looking at this, kind of feels like this is the linchpin of the run right here. If, if I succeed versus the Fallen, I'll get a deal with the devil item and possibly the ability to trade with the devil as well. That was stupid. That was really dumb. Uh, but if I don't succeed, then that will be the end of, of this Cinderella run that we've had so far. Both are definite possibilities. Uh, but Dead Bird seems to be doing work here for once, which is nice. I think? Where is he? Did it disappear? If it disappeared, that's real shitty! Remember, of course, that we have our, our nerd rage if we get down to only uh, half a heart. Or one heart? It's half a heart. Uh, then we have uh, Horror Babylon. Well, it looks like I am going to succeed against the Fallen, at least. There's some health and, you know, extra damage. That's big. I can't even tell you how big that is, really. Uh, now we have a chance. <laughs> I would still love, more than love, love is not a strong enough word for what I, the desire that I have for this, but I would love some extra damage upgrades. But we at least have a chance now. Um, that was real shitty. Coming across so many zombies so early in the fucking game. Normally, that is not how things go. But I guess Dead Bird is fine. Dead Bird can take them out without much input from me. It's going to take its sweet-ass time doing it, apparently. Oh, there we go. This is more of a room my speed here for, uh, you know, Depths Part 1. Brain, guys, not an issue, really. 
I'm doing enough damage to take them out before they can get to me, which is a nice change of pace. But otherwise, I'm, I'm starting to feel encouraged now. Not that this is, like, I'm probably as strong right now, as slightly stronger than, like, your starting Judas. Including, of course, like, Book of Belial. And also, like, taking the Razor into account and the Dead Bird and stuff. Uh, but it's, it's a start, you know? Maybe I'm a little bit stronger than a starting Judas, because obviously, uh, you know, the Pact is a pretty solid item. Zombies are too smart, man. It's like playing DayZ, they'll chase me down in any situation. And I can't afford to use bombs so consistently to take them out, although that works wonders. Now, we do know there's another mini-boss on the level, so Greed can't be in this room. That's actually a really good card as well. Uh, homing bombs. I mean, that's great because it gives us five extra bombs, which apparently we're going to need to take out all these fucking zombies. And look at that! We still need two hits to take out these red flies? No, I don't think so. Only if our, like, Brother Bobby or Super Meeple hits them. More bombs, and we have our mini boss coming up. As well as our regular boss. Let's go with the regular boss first. Oh, it's gonna give us our third, uh, Meat Boy, which is actually really good, like we, like I said, uh, very much holding true to that, uh, point I made earlier, where we're just trying to make, like, the best posse that we can right now. I could hurt myself to do a little extra damage, uh, but I don't know that it's necessarily needed right now. Doing reasonably well on my own accord. We'll just keep firing away here. Let's put it this way, if I was going to use the Razor, I should have done it already. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to be way easier to kill now. We'll get this third cube of meat, which is actually, like, I can't overstate that that is a huge deal. Especially when we still have fairly low damage, or not incredible damage, anyway. So we'll get that third cube of meat. We might even run into Krampus here, which would be fine by me. Nope, uh, we have Ouija board, Monster Manuel. Uh, both of those, not very good. In my opinion, anyway. So let's go check out our dude here. I definitely did not... Oh, maybe I did have to use that second bomb. So we have homing bombs, which means that uh, a lot of Wrath's bombs here should just, like, go back into his face, I think. But anyway, Meat Boy's doing work on him right here. We got one cent and a couple of bombs. And uh, Spirit Heart, I guess, from that Tinted Rock. Down on the next floor with, I don't know, renewed vigor and a hope that this could possibly be a good run. Start by going to the item room. Certainly, the longer you survive as Eve, the, the usually the better you feel about things. So Meat Boy should take out these zombies Or not. Again, I think the AI on Meat Boy could use some work as well. But against bosses, that's going to be invaluable. Because usually he just has to stand in one place. Which he is decent at. And beyond that, sick crowd control for this first mom boss fight. Can't argue with that. And of course, like, we're not even going into the boss fight just yet. We could potentially get some, uh, much better items from the item room here. Although it's kind of unlikely, but you never know. I would love to get rid of this razor and pick up, you know, something better. Just try to make sure that I'm standing in a safe position at all times. Tray table up, or, and my seat back in the full upright position. Destroy these guys. One more cent. There's 15 cents. And we know... Ah, fuck. Teleport. I'd stick with the Razor, actually. Uh, we know that Greed is not in the shop because there is another mini-boss on the level, which is cool, so we can maybe buy something there. Again, Book of Revelations would be pretty strong on this character, especially in conjunction with the Razor, because we could choose whenever we wanted to enter the, uh, the Whore of Babylon state. This is a shitty room. Four Leapers. A rough layout and two turrets in the middle shooting at me. Dead bird and meat boy just hanging out. How you doing? Pretty good yourself? Please, yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, fucking asshole boss wants us to do our jobs again. Fuck you. Alright, so I'll just paint myself into a corner here with the way I've been moving around. Yep, couldn't really do much about that, unfortunately. Turret kept firing at me despite the fact that uh, every enemy on the screen was dead. Pretty, pretty nice when that happens. But again, still holding strong here. One more killer item is all I need. Bomb to get a bomb. 
The bang, the bang, dicky, 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 dicky. Oh, fuck me. This room is. These rooms have been way harder than the rooms I've been coming across. Uh, you know, up to this point on the past few runs. It's hilarious, but also depressing. You know, there's always a chance on the first womb that we could get the level 4 Meat Boy, which is a rarity, to say the least. Let's continue doing some dodges here. Meat Boy is occasionally eating some fetus, which, you know, is good for you. You don't want to, everything in moderation. Come on, one more set of shots. Not one more shot, apparently. Map! Map and compass. Really nice items to get in conjunction with one another. This is fine. And of course, another room full of leapers. What's next? Leaper zombie room with ten turrets in it? This is insanely... Like, the difficulty curve has been cranked, man. Some Mario 64 rubber band AI shit. That's what we got here. Death card. Really useful, actually. More useful than the lovers? Maybe. Um, I would love to use the death card on the way to the mom boss fight and then save the lovers for, you know, maybe in the womb because I'll probably need some extra health at some point. Uh, but this is not the right time for it. Just take out these dudes here. That was easy enough. And how about this last remaining room here? Yeah, you know what? That's worth using the death card on. I'll go back and get the lovers card quickly. And everything worked out okay. We are now going to fight Mom, and we have never even entered Horror of Babylon State, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to use my uh, Razor Blade immediately so get some extra damage here. All right, now let's go to town. Oh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a couple days since I fought Mom without using Mom's knife. This could be rough. Wow, I'm already down to two and a half hearts. Okay, this is this is the linchpin <laughs> of this, this run of form that I've had. Oh fuck, two hearts. One and a half hearts! Mom is taking like next to no damage. Okay, you gotta stay fucking focused. This is the one time I wanted like a one up or something. Okay, about 50% health. The layout of the level is, is much better for me now. There we go, now we can start doing some damage. Sort of clearing out the pieces of trash. I mean, not only did I run into rough layouts, but I'm also getting, like, the worst enemies for crowd control in this mom boss fight. Like, those red heads that, when they come out, uh, explode into a hail of bullets. So annoying. Back up here. Mom's at about 10%, I would say. So continue backing it up. Just a little bit more. And we succeeded with a Spirit Heart and a Tears upgrade. Which is uh, scary. Thank God we got our lover's card, so we can continue onwards here. Okay, now we're hoping, against hope, that we come across... Um, well, let's just use a bomb to take out this guy first. Hoping against hope that we um, get the get Satan here so we can get our level 4 Meat Boy. Or not Satan, sorry, um, Death. Similar, but not the same. Um, so that'd be really nice for us to be able to have that level 4 Meat Boy, which would actually... You know, be stronger and allow me to basically just be like a proxy. Like, I'll just move around and stay alive. While uh, level 4 Meat Boy does most of the damage, which is kind of similar to what's happening right now, honestly. Okay, Meat Boy doing some work there. We'll come down. Nope, same shit. Can't believe I missed my own doppelganger there. Meat Boy is doing jack shit right here. Yeah, I knew I was going to hit myself. But if, like, Dead Bird and Meat Boy could just fucking man up. There we go. Was that so hard? Uh, I'm going to plant a bomb here because I don't want to deal with these fucking diglets. Took out a couple. It's okay. We've got a key there. That's going to prove useful. Ah, uh, fucking never. And hearts. Hearts are what I need. Unless I run into Skolex. Because Satan could be tough. Or, again, not Satan. Death. Similar. Not the same. Me boy. Okay, I know you're like a latchkey kid. But feel free to just roam on your own. This is a safe area for you. You don't need to be by my side at all times. And we got... Oh, tons of money. Again, largely useless for us. Death. 
Ah, Skolex. Oh, well. I mean, whoever I came across on this floor, it was going to be good for me. Because Skolex is obviously easy as hell. Uh, death would have given me the, the level 4 Meat Boy, which probably would have been better in the long run. There's almost nobody I could have come across on the Wound Part 1 that would have ruined my day. I guess, you know, maybe the Fallen. Although, I've already fought the Fallen. So, maybe the Pony. Or the Headless Horseman, I should say. One more series of barrages here. Gives us a little extra health. And an HP up. No deal with the devil, which is unfortunate. So it looks like this is what we're going to have. <laughs> as we try to finish the game. So this is this is us. For the first time, I actually feel like the Satan boss fight is going to be hard as hell. First time in a long time, anyway. But we're going to be able to get to this mom's bo heart boss fight. Easily. Lazers are proving to be kind of a pain in the ass to take out. Be nice if... Oh, Damage. If Meat Boy or Dead Bird would prioritize those, but oh well. Alright, so we'll go into the secret room, which hopefully will allow us to just kind of bomb our way into the Mom's Heart boss fight. Unicorn Horn beats Razor. Ah, yes. Kind of. <laughs> oh, Meat Boy! Oh, you fucking asshole, Meat Boy. Genuine terror in my voice, and of course we can't just bomb our way in there now. That is fucking stupid, man. Alright, my, my will to live has been sapped. Just place that bomb there. Wow, I think Meat Boy might have kicked that into... I totally forgot at how much of an asshole level 3 Meat Boy can be. Thanks for the heart. That's going to be really useful for me. Look at how little damage I do to Chubb. It's like embarrassing. Come on, just kill it! It's had no hell for 20 minutes! Jesus Christ. Well, the Spirit Heart actually is really useful as we move onwards here. Alright, this is an easy room. It's a really nice, uh, nice of the game to do. More bombs that I hopefully will get a chance to use. Ah, this is almost Unicorn Horn worthy. But I'm going to say that it's not because I need to save that Unicorn Horn for Mom's Heart. Basically, no way around that one. Oh, uh, oh, come on. I can't even... Focus on these two guys at once! Oh, two hits on the double gluttony room. That's embarrassing, man. Oh, they dropped the health up, though. Oh, that gives you full health! Oh, my God. Big plays! <laughs> well, we're... That was a miracle, basically. And I don't want to ask any scientists how that miracle happened, because you've been dishonest with me and I'm getting aggravated. And you're moving around here, trying not to get caught in these bullets, which do a lot of damage. Is it possible? Do we have a chance here? Like, we haven't gotten anything, basically, as Eve. We've gotten the pact, or the deal. And that's it. Uh, but I guess, you know, we got a chance. Meat Boy is really good against Mom's Heart. And Dead Bird, should it ever appear. Uh, I'm not even sure how or when I will use the Unicorn Horn. I guess once it starts firing bombs continuously, and then I'll try to get a charge up again for the Satan boss fight. Alright, don't kick the bombs at me, you piece of garbage. I have homing bombs, so they should hold. This is definitely going to be a marathon mom's hard boss fight, too. Because I am doing so little damage. I have a feeling Chubb's going to appear in this one. There we go. Fucking finally. Larry Jr. should go down in no time. Dropping these bombs, take out the lasers. I didn't know Mom's Heart dropped lasers. There we go. Okay, now, we're in the groove now. No problems. Alright, Duke of Flies. It's been a while since the Duke of Flies has even appeared. Well, it, it didn't take too long for him to disappear, did it? Alright, I got seven bombs left. I might want to save them now. Alright, well, there's Chubb. And this is a good Unicorn Horn opportunity. Apparently is doing no damage to Mom's heart, which is pretty awesome when your your items just don't work. That's an incredible dodge, if I do say so myself. I'm focusing on Mom's heart because if we kill Mom's heart, Chubb will die. Oh, fuck! Finally took some damage on this fight. By and large, it's gone very well. Some extra health for me, and it's onto the womb. We have the, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Oh, well. Oh, big-ass vaginal laser. Come on, Meat Boy, take forever. 
There's our secret room. Whew, I have a little bit of adrenaline pumping right now. One up, that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. So we will at least have a second chance. We got a, like a, a way to skip to the boss room right here. We won't have our unicorn horn, but I think this is the best way things could go. Shit, man. We got to Satan at least. Getting to Satan with Eve is, is in its own way, kind of a victory. Let's keep this up. Fallen's finally gonna split. Remember when I had like mom's knife and I could split the fallen in one hit? Those were the fucking days, man. I still haven't even taken out the first two bomb flies that came. Maybe there's still one of them just chilling here. And that's gonna prove to be really annoying, yeah. Meat Boy and Dead Bird are fucking <laughs> garbage. <laughs> I hate to say it, but Meat Boy and Dead Bird not helping me out too much here. Dead Bird is actually like off the screen. Meat Boy is finally doing his best. Okay, I just gotta focus here. The Fallen is actually the hardest part of this boss fight. With my current lineup, I would say. Satan himself is not that difficult. Then we just have to, honestly, I hate to say it, get a little bit lucky on the, uh... Oh, that was close. Get a little bit lucky on the, um, the foot part. I might as well be, like, firing bombs like crazy. Damn it. Because there's no way that I'm going to use those against the foot. Seriously, I can't touch. <laughs> Meat Boy! Dead Bird! Get in there! This is your job! Not just to follow me around. Look, I'm trying to get them as close to the party as possible. There we go. Meat Boy is taking the hint. Dead Bird just says, fuck you, Mom. Otherwise, going fairly well so far. Still got two hits on Satan's foot form here. I can't kill any bomb flies anyway unless they fly into me, so... I don't have to worry about shooting them and having them blow up in my face too much. So far, it's so okay, although I'm super out of my rhythm. Just always be moving. ABM. Yo, my Isaac ABM is super big. Okay, keep it up. Oh, Jesus, my heart. My heart. <laughs> no! Oh, God. If only I'd gotten a battery, I'd have Unicorn Horn right now. Oh, fuck you. Oh, God. All right, well, let's try it again. Second verse, basically same as the first, except I have no bombs left. Ah. Oh. Alright, well, doing things the old-fashioned way. Just continuously blow up the bomb fly. So important. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is an even worse start so far. There we go, fucking finally got hit. Twice. He's faster than me, too. Okay, well, at least the bomb flies are dead. Like, the Fallen is faster than me. That's the, the joke of it all. Is that even as he's chasing me, I can't really get away. Meepo and Dead Bird just keep doing work. I'll just hide behind this statue. Oh, Jesus Christ. Of course they both chase me at the same time. And then here comes the, the both firing at the same time. That was pretty damn close. I got lucky with my dodges there. This is insanity. And of course, the, the AI has been so dickish to me over the course of the game so far. There we go. Okay, Satan's second form. Let's do it! No problems. Uh, I'm in a much worse situation than I was the first time. I didn't think that was possible, to be honest with you. This is it. No, I gotta hunker down. Get myself into like, some karate kid shit. At least Meat Boy's actually attacking this time. I'm not even looking at Satan's health. Because frankly, I don't fucking care. I'm just gonna keep dodging. And occasionally... Doing this to try to goad him into doing his laser attack, which gives me even more safety to dodge, which is nice. Oh, that was a rough situation. Yeah, I was pretty sure I was going to take damage. Okay, well, exactly the same situation again. Let's fucking do this. No bomb flies. It's all the bomb flies. Like, when you first fight this, you're like, oh man, Satan's foot coming down? That, that looks difficult. Oh, fuck. 
fuck, that was horrible. But when you play this through again, you're like... It's the bomb flies, man. The bomb flies are the only thing that's hard about this. Yep, there we go. Fuck me! Oh, <laughs> I am a little bit frustrated, honestly, because I feel like I played okay. This is a post-Isaac strategy, everyone join me. I feel like I played okay. I just got shitty items, man, the whole time, but I don't know. I don't know. Could have been could have been better play, I guess. As always, thank you guys for watching. I guess that's the end of my Cinderella run, but as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.